Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. The Spitfire In the 1940s, the British Army was equipped with several types of aircraft to meet its needs. One type of aircraft was the Supermarine Spitfire, which was produced by the Supermarine Aircraft Company. The Spitfire was the most famous fighter in World War II, as it was used by the Royal Air Force RAF, and the Royal Navy. It was also used by other countries during the war, including the United States Army Air Forces USAF. The Spitfire was first produced in 1938, and was one of the most successful aircraft in World War II. The Spitfire was the first production fighter jet to be designed and built in Britain. The Spitfire was a single-engine fighter plane that was designed by Supermarine's chief designer, Sidney Cannon. The Spitfire was a twin-boom design with a single-seat cockpit. The Spitfire was powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. The Spitfire was designed for high speed and maneuverability. The Spitfire had an armament of two 20mm Hispano Suiza HS.404 cannons. The Spitfire was capable of reaching speeds of 400 miles per hour. The Spitfire was produced in both the Mark I and Mark II versions. The Mark I Spitfire had a wingspan of 39 feet and a length of 28 feet. The Mark I Spitfire was powered by a 1,200 horsepower Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, while the Mark II Spitfire had a wingspan and length of 40 feet. The Mark II Spitfire was powered by a 2,000 horsepower Rolls-Royce Merlin V12 engine. The Mark II Spitfire could reach speeds of 450 miles per hour. The Spitfires were used in many battles during World War II. The Spitfires were used in the Battle of Britain, where they were flown by the RAF. In the Battle of Britain, the Spitfire was used to shoot down German bombers. The Spitfires were also used to shoot down German fighters and intercept German bombers. The Spitfires also flew missions over France, Germany, and Italy. The Spitfires were also involved in the D-Day invasion. The Spitfires were used to support the Allied forces in the Normandy landings. The Spitfire also played an important role in the Battle of Arnhem. The Spitfire was used to cover the landing of the Allied forces at Arnhem. The Spitfires also covered the retreat of the Allies from Arnhem. The Spitfires were also flown by the USAF in Europe. The Spitfire has been used in many movies, including A Bridge Too Far, The Eagle Has Landed. The Dam Busters, Battle of Britain, The Battle of Britain, The Cruel Sea, The Dam Busters. The First of the Few, The Great Escape, The Green Berries, The Last Days of Pattern. The Longest Day, Pattern, The Rocketeer, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, The Thin Red Line. And V for Vendetta.